Hello and welcome to oh, second veggie button already. <laughs> Bad intro. Welcome to episode five, I think. Episode four or five, I'm not really sure. But today our goal is I'm a jetpack so we can get around more easier. And maybe maybe I'll show you um some mods that I installed because I have updated. Here's the armored jet jetpack. Uh, I have gone to the liberty of creating the tanks off camera. They're easier, just osmium and iron dust. Osmium is in my inventory just there. Iron dust, you just put iron ore and you get iron dust out of that. Because the tanks take a while to fill up. Like that's about half the jetpack full if I used all of that hydrogen. So yeah, that'll be filling up in the background and hopefully we'll have a full jetpack by the end. Okay, here's the normal jetpack. I have created a load of them off camera and need some tin and some steel. We have got steel. We just need tin now. Now, where did I put that tin? Tin? Oh, there's tin there. It's in my inventory. God, open your eyes. But yeah, here's the, uh, I'll show you through the two main mods that I have uh, integrated into this mod pack. Mistcraft. Oh, sorry, I got a at Mistcraft. Yeah, it's a fairly low amount of items, but it means you can generate worlds that are like customizable so you can have ones with just like full of villages all sorts of stuff so I did that because I was thinking maybe I can make a world for my new base or something like that maybe I can have a world purely that nice biome I like uh, and the other mod is it ICBM? ICBM? yeah that's it it's like explosives and stuff so like got laser turrets anti-aircraft guns, missiles, <laughs> nuclear cluster missile, that sounds deadly, got loads of grenades there, and then you got like some beefy TNT um, minecarts, not sure what these do, but hey, that should be done now, yeah, and back to the jetpack, uh, there it is, so, Let's see if I can remember the crafting recipe. There we are. Jetpack. Now we can use that, but I'm going to go straight for the armored jetpack. So we need a steel block, bronze, and some diamond dust. Luckily, I did have two diamonds left in the chest. Okay, so let's, uh, let's see if I got any steel in here. Oh, yeah. Plenty of steel. That'll make our steel block. Now we just need uh, bronze, or was it copper? I'm not sure. Bronze. Okay, so I think bronze is like three copper, one tin. But another thing, we need the diamond dust, right? So just here. And way to get that is with the crusher. So we do need to make a crusher, but I do think it is fairly simple. Crusher. Uh, there it is. Uh, yeah, I got the lava buckets off camera because they're a pain. So yeah, crusher already pretty simple we just uh, put that on here yeah and that is crushing the diamonds unfortunately you only got one dust for one diamond so this will create two diamonds dust two diamond dust not two diamonds but yeah for what it is it's actually really useful armored jet pack there we are armored jet just type that in ready so yeah, we are definitely going to explore some Mistcraft stuff today. Uh, we will go and create some just random worlds that we just randomly generated. Um, for some reason the crusher is still going off in the background, but it will come through fairly low on the old thing. Oh, hopefully that's the right kind of steel. Let's hope, hey? Uh, Look at them. They're planning an invasion. Ah, and we're back. Uh, we got some uh, we got some bronze in there. I did have to go get some more copper, but hey, you know that's to be expected. Seeing as I did use up all my uh, copper in the first trial, but yeah, when you have a load of stuff in there, it can just it can just turn into anything really. I was hoping it would alloy straight away, but obviously not. But hey, let's see how good my memory is. Jetpack. 
block of steel, and here we are, armored jetpack. Wow, that was uh, easier than I was expecting. Yeah, so we have got a full amount of hydrogen here. We can fill up the whole jetpack. It does take up 24,000, so we'll leave that just a second. And the quarry is going really slowly. Oh yeah, I disconnected the hydrogen generator so it could fill up the tank, which are, I'll put the tank back in after. Ugh, I'm stuck. But yeah, that is almost done, that quarry. We should be getting some diamonds soon, I think. But our whole our storage space is holding strong. Yeah, we got three diamonds there. And two diamonds there. No diamonds in here. But yeah, applied logistics will be the thing that I go for next, I think, maybe? Not sure. <laughs> and anything that could happen, really. But yeah, let's, uh, well, that's doing that. Let's explore Mistcraft. Fairly simple stuff. You uh, don't need to have a lot of stuff to um, start this, really. You need... You need... Uh, bookbinder, writing desk, ink mink mixer and you need a couple of ink files. We do need some books so I may have to do a lot of annoying little little stuff here at the moment but I'll probably do that you know a bit on the camera a bit off camera but hey let's uh, create what we can because it does require ink really ink and glass bottles which can be pesky. Oh, we need stone, like actual stone. Great. Okay, and we're back, and I've got a few water bottles there. And that is done, so this, wow, look at my armor rating. I, if you can see it just behind my inventory. That's with iron armor, this with the iron armor jetpack. Go away, zombie. Oh, goodbye. And let's take this baby up for a test flight. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Exciting, right? <laughs> no, it'd be a lot easier. Probably a lot more enjoyable to watch as well. Instead of me climbing at cliffs. And again, I would have edited, there, edited them out anyway, so... Anyway. Ink mixer. Hey, it worked that time. So, writing desk. I believe you need this. Not really sure, to be honest. Uh, we need this anyway. Uh, make a writing desk. I'm partly, and um, we're gonna need feathers. Great. Ugh. Okay, let's uh, let's go get some feathers. And we're back. As you can see, I got seven feathers here, but I did have an idea. We're going to make a glider wing because well, we're gonna make two of them. I have just enough there. Ooh, hand glider already. Well, that took like three seconds. Well, it's going to take longer than that because as I was trying to find chickens it's really slow traveling like this but with the glider and you hold down shift as well you go a hell of a lot faster it's a lot more convenient but yeah that was just uh I just made that for my convenience anyway because half the stuff I'm going to need it you're probably not going to see anyway but hey you may do one day <laughs> but anyway feathers 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 uh, back to Miss Craft, shall we? And I don't have enough wood. Please say I have some wood. See any wood, guys? No? <laughs> Am I going to have to go collect some wood? I'm going to have to go get some wood, aren't I? Well, that's going to be simple enough, and I'll be back in a minute. And we're back. Uh, I've got a hell of a lot of wood. Well, enough to last me quite a while. I'll make a stack. I did not mean to make all of that, but hey. Anyway, writing desk. See if I can remember the crafting recipe. No, I cannot. Damn it. Okay. Uh. Oh, you need a bottle. Okay. Fair enough. Boom. The writing desk. Now we should have all the components. <laughs> We're really getting pushed for space here, aren't we? Yep, that's that. And bookbinder. Luckily, I do have a bit of leather left. Um, so we need to get some paper. So I'm going to go off and find some sugar cane. And I'll be back in a minute. And we're back. Uh, I collected quite a lot of sugar cane. I did plant some down there just for a good measure in case we need some more. Let's, uh, let's make a few. Well, nine pieces of paper. 
Uh, I also need to get some ink. Damn, this episode's gonna have a lot of cuts today, isn't it? Uh, yeah, we need some ink. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna get some ink and I'll be back in a minute. And we're back, we just, uh, I just had a squid bonanza. <laughs> oh, sorry, we gotta uh, craft ink bottles, don't we? It's annoying how we can't just put ink. I suppose technically these are ink sacks. Uh, oh, sorry, I thought I just uh, duplicated them then, but I didn't, so. And there we are, ink bottle. I think, ink vials, sorry. I think these stack, hopefully they do. Uh, I think we do get the bottle back as well. Okay, five ink bottles and 16 sacks left over. Okay, we put them in here, here, here. Yep, yeah, there we go. And this is what we get if we choose to take it. So, a linking panel, I'm gonna take that. And we put, no, oh, sorry, not in here. We put this in here. Descriptive book, yep. Yeah, that is a random book. And we're back, I know it was so simple. All we need is a li another linking panel. Let's uh, put that in there. So here's a linking panel, and we put this. Uh, we put this in here with some leather, and there, boom, unlinked book. So we will uh, put these down here. We we'll put it at the back of the house, you know, somewhere where it's unlikely to get exploded by a creeper. Uh, all we do is this. Right click here, and now, when I take this book back, I'll spawn here. But are you ready to go to a random dimension? This could be seriously bad, because it could be unstable, there could be meteors, it could be falling apart. I may have to get out of there pretty quickly, but hey, here we go. Okay, and we're here. It actually looks rather nice. What is this? <laughs> Molten Rubracium. <laughs> Brachium. Um, do I want to stand in that? Uh, Oh god, is that a sign that it's unstable? Hmm, well before we do anything else let's put this down. Uh, let's explore. First thing I'm going to do is jump into Molten Lubracium. And I'm on fire. Hopefully I do stop being on fire. Oh yeah, another mod I installed was, um, uh, I can't remember the name, but it mean it's dynamic lighting so when I'm on fire it's a bit buggy. It does light up my surroundings, and when I have a torch in my hand, it lights up the surroundings and everything. But yeah, this, uh, this does like look like a nice uh, place. Lubracium, if I find a need for Lubracium. <laughs> Can't say I know any needs for Lubracium. Uh, we, may, um, we may come back and pump this out. Uh, let's get some of this blueberry bush. <laughs> It's kind of cool how the uh, mobs just walk into it. Boom, get rid of that. Ah. It's not raining and yet it's thundering, which is kind of cool. Oh, that, that's good actually. A dimension that doesn't rain. Oh, wow. What is that? What? Was that just random particles from my jetpack or did I just actually see something? Either way. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little bit, a little bit more random than a desert. But hey, it's better than somewhere with fallen meteors, right? Uh, I presume this is just a normal world, but this biome, what biome is it? Meadow? No, posture meadow. I mean, it's great for bees, but let's, uh, oh, I should probably waypoint the exit. So let's travel out a bit. Hang on, just look at my RAM usage. Nah, that's fine. <laughs> Hopefully it's fine anyway. But yeah, I, I have a feeling that it's just this biome. Which is a bit weird, but... Hey! Some sludge there. Oh. Wow! <laughs> okay! Oh, I respawn here anyway, so... Uh, it is night time, so I will have to go and, um, I will have to face these mobs, but in the meadow, it looks kind of nice, actually. So, yeah, I'm going to go 
to my latest death. Oh, I'm back in a minute. And we are back. Uh, that is uh, sewage. Lovely. Um, but yeah, that will probably be my next goal next episode. Long fall boots. Because they stop you from taking fall damage. At the cost of energy, but, you know, I have some energy. Mm, I don't think there's much to see here, guys. So, I think heading back will be the best option. And I think this is where I'm going to end the episode. So, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed. And I'll see you in episode 6 or episode 5. I'm not sure what it is. But hey, I'll see you then.